to close yeah, the House out. and the Senate. Um, oh, yeah, we knew that. They're not even in chambers today. This is just mostly building. There are meetings in the um, I think that that's a certain issue there because no, he's not in No, they closed it off. That's our no, not the office. They've got the and they they've got the elevator us. locked down. And you can still go up the stairs. Well, yeah, we had a wheelchair with us uh, disabled. But they don't. Then that's what we're They actually locked down their offices. Yeah. We were just told that the information. So, uh, what's, that's a little bit different only here, the rotunda uh, and, and, and the, the governor's are office already, already are the only things that are accessible. To us. Uh, when we call these rallies, generally, we since there's no one in the governor's office, office right now, and mm -hmm. well, that office right there in the middle is only for ceremonies yeah, and exactly. bill signing anyway. Not yeah. for this one specifically. So it's not an, an official office. office. Right, we can see an empty yeah, office. Yeah, and we can see the rotunda. Yeah, but. This is Only the, the House and the Senate were supposed to be okay. locked off, the not their offices. Um, okay, well, that's, uh, I don't know, that's what the information is. They, they're denying us access to them. Yeah. They can't do that. that exactly, that's what I said. It's, Ill, it's illegal and that's what they're doing. I think we all need to go in there. I think we all need to go in. When they demanded the Bill of Rights. An armed citizenry is the first defense, the best defense, and the final defense against tyranny. If guns are outlawed, only the government will have guns. <laughs> only the police, the secret police, the military, the hired servants of our rulers. Only the government and a few outlaws. I intend to be among the outlaws. Amen. Maximilien Robespierre said during the French Revolution that the secret of freedom lies in educated people, whereas the secret of tyranny is in keeping them ignorant. I don't believe we're ignorant here because we're all students of the Constitution, are we not? Amen. So they have a lot to learn from us. Now I talked on the radio to a local politician down in Coos County, and he didn't know anything about the Constitution. He's running for mayor. So I gave him the what for on the Second Amendment. Of course, he was one of those saying that he uh, agreed with having some sensible gun laws in the metropolitan areas, not so much in the rural areas. And I had to explain to him that the Constitution does not differentiate between metropolitan Americans and Rural Americans, does it? No. no. Hell no, it doesn't. We need to follow and emulate our founding fathers as best as we can. We're not going to sit down. We're not going to shut up. We're going to stand up and protect our country and our state. This is ours, not theirs. They will listen to us, and we will do what we have to do to make sure that our rights are protected. Not just the First Amendment, not just the Fourth or Fifth or Sixth, but the Second has equal right under the protection of the the Constitution. So we need to treat all the Bill of Rights as if they're equal. The Second Amendment protects the First Amendment, does it not? Without it, what are we? We are serfs. Are you serfs? No. Are you Americans? Yes. You're damn right you are. You're patriots and you're all here for a cause and for a reason. I commend you for that. I just want to read uh, a little something from the Declaration of Independence. They are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That would be us. <clears throat> that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just power from the consent of the governed. So the whole reason government is here is to protect our rights. Am I right? Yes. Right, should be. And I do not consent to them taking my rights away, which they can't do anyways. We'll get to that. I wanted to define unalienable. Unalienable literally means cannot be taken or given away. You can't even give it away. It's a gift from God. And one more thing I wanted to define was in French. In French means regulate or undermine. Winston Churchill said, if you will not fight for right when you can easily win without bloodshed, if you will not fight when your victory is sure and not too costly, 
You may come to the moment when you will have to fight with all the odds against you and only precarious chance of survival. There may even be a worst case. You may have to fight when there is no hope of victory because it is better to perish than to live as a slave. And uh, that's why I get up every day and, and do this stuff is for my children. I don't want my children to grow up as a slave. We need to chain them to the Constitution and make them follow their oath of office. Thank they you. are not representing us as the people of this state as they are elected to do. They need to do our bidding. It's our will and the reason that they're in this building in the first place. So when we go in there today, you need to tell every damn one of them that it's time that they put what they think is best for us to the side and listen because it is our will of what they're supposed to do, okay? We need to make them listen. There's no more out here going, hey guys, hey, we got guns and, and, and we want to keep them. We don't want to do that anymore. We want to tell them, you're not taking them no matter what law you pass in there. We don't care about your law that infringes upon our rights. No more. Amen. No more. Amen. Any law that infringes upon our rights is no law at all. And we have a duty to ignore it. That's right. An absolute duty to ignore it. And we have a duty to ignore it not for ourselves, not because we're selfish. We have a duty to ignore it to protect the little ones that are running around here. Our children, our grandchildren, our families at home. It is time to stop pussyfooting around and it is time to get in there and get in front of these people and tell them to do their damn job. Yeah. Do the job we elected you to do. Represent us. Represent our wishes. Represent what we want for our lives, not what you think we are was best for us. Don't tell us how to freedom. That's right. <laughs> Don't tell us how to freedom. Guys, I'm really passionate about this stuff. This stuff really sets me off the cliff. But let's keep one thing in mind. There's a difference between freedom and liberty. And Chris Ann tells us this. Freedom is true anarchy, right? If I'm free to do whatever I want, I can run around and kill whoever I want and have no recourse, okay? That's not what we're about. That's not what America's about. We live with liberty. Liberty is what? Liberty is freedom with morality, okay? So we have to keep our wits about us. We have to keep our... our uh, What's the word? The, we need to keep doing what's right. We need to act in the right manners. We don't take uh, protests out and, and become violent in the streets. But what we do is put our money where our mouth is. And we actually get in there and we tell these guys what we want. No more accepting their fate. We're going to dictate the fate, okay?